from the Triangle, this is WNCN News at 11. Please pay those teachers. Big raises for teachers, but cuts elsewhere. Tonight, the hard choice is facing the state's largest school district. Good evening, I'm Sean Maroney. I'm Pam Salsby. Thanks for joining us. Wake County School says it might have to find millions of dollars to chop off its budget. It comes after a close look at the state budget that Governor McCrory is expected to sign. It gives raises to teachers, but the money had to come from somewhere. WNCN's Derek Waller just got back from a big town hall meeting to talk about the district's future. Yeah, Pam, the district is working on crafting a five-year strategic plan to improve student achievement. Those involved in the process say retaining top teachers is priority one, but there's also concerns about what's being cut behind the scenes. It's real important to me to stay engaged. Patty Dressen's two children have already graduated, but she's still giving feedback at this Wake County Schools strategic planning town hall. Hundreds, including teachers and parents, broke off into groups and voted for what they think will best improve student achievement. Teacher compensation came out on top. Please pay those teachers. Teachers are getting one of the biggest raises in state history this year, but it came at a cost. They say they're going to get raises, and then it's like, but, you know, we're going to have to take the money from here. State lawmakers approved a budget last week that gives most teachers a substantial raise, averaging about 7%. But this week, school leaders found out there were cuts made elsewhere. Now, Wake Schools has a $12.6 million hole to fill. It's not as bad as some of our worst-case scenarios but it's not as good as we had hoped. So it is a, a funding shortfall that we're going to have to address. The district will need to find $11.1 million to fund their portion of those large teacher raises and higher benefits, and $1.5 million due to a cut in funding. It means they could lose a planned expansion to pre-K, a new literacy program, and funding for an expected 4,000 new students this year. Dresden is not exactly surprised. No, it's an election year, and I understand that. But, you know, who's the loser in this? It's the classroom. And teachers' assistance could also be cut. The district could use one-time funding to save some of those programs for the time being. Some hard choices are, coming in the com are going to happen in the coming weeks. And as for that strategic plan, a committee will meet every two weeks and present their recommendations to the school board in December. Pam? Derek, thank you. A big turnout there. People clearly want to be heard. The issue of teacher shortages in other counties getting worse by the week. Durham County Schools still has 70 openings to fill. More than 300 teachers resigned last year. For Chapel Hill Carborough Schools, they also have about 70 openings. They've hired 56 teachers in the past two and a half weeks. Resignations there up 20 percent. But a lot of teachers, if you're leaving for another teaching job somewhere else, you're probably not announcing that until you're sure you got the job. So we've been getting a rush of resignations even here in July, which puts us up against the clock as, as we get ready for the August 25th go time. The school system has set aside money for signing bonuses for hard-to-fill positions like math, science, and special education. That move is paying off, and the district is confident that all classrooms will have teachers by the time school starts. 